Hi, my name's Stone. My name's Rock. And this is Views. This is the second of a three-part series on materialism. It's called Object-Oriented Ontology. We're at the Gardner Museum here in Toronto looking at Yoko Ono's exhibition, The Riverbed. We're going to be talking about a couple of philosophical concepts that artists have taken up in recent years. If you've been to art school lately or keep up with your art criticism, you've probably heard of object-oriented ontology. It does the exact opposite of what I was doing with the stones over there. Instead of taking the natural world and adding silly voices and anthropomorphizing it, it's concerned with the world from a perspective that doesn't privilege human subjectivity. To break it down, ontology is concerned with the nature of being. Object-oriented is an attempt to understand the being of objects without imposing the subjectivity of human perception. It's not surprising that artists like Yoko Ono, who work with the stuff of the world, are sympathetic to this position and excited by the possibility of reorienting themselves to matter. Yoko Ono emphasizes materials in her work. You have to attend to them, work with them, relate to them. Panpsychism is a related concept that connects consciousness to matter. If the brain is a material thing, and the brain is made up of particles, the possibility that particles of matter, pebbles, stones, string, also have some form of consciousness. Simply an awareness of that possibility changes our relationship to the things in the world. We become more mindful of them. We become maybe more ethical in our relationship to things. So there is you know, a connection again to environmentalism and the way in which uh, we need to reconsider our treatment of the world. Not simply animals, but also material things like water, minerals, the planet itself. Artists whose work with material is less about imposing an order and more about allowing the material to establish its own order or the material to lead the artist and her collaborators in their creation invites a rethinking of how we relate to the world. That's the end of this episode. Next up, we'll be looking at that other kind of materialism. Wealth, property, commodities, cold hard cash.